All right, <clears throat> welcome to the third video. And in this video, I'll show you how to retrieve the data. We can do search and display the result in the same view controller. Now, notice we're not doing table view controller. Maybe in the last one more video I'll do, I'll show you how we get the data from a table view controller and display it. Uh, I mean, display the data in a table view controller. All right, for now, let's go to that button that talks about, oh, this is the wrong video. <laughs> wrong uh, wrong uh, project okay for now here is your button find record what do we want to find we want to find based on the name so first thing we need to do we need to get the entity description just like we've done before so I'm gonna copy this command copy and then I'm gonna paste it in here the next thing we want to do is that if you're familiar with the SQL, we need to create the condition or the where clause. And, uh, and to do this, we need to create a request. And in that request, we define what we call the predicate. Okay. So the request is your query. So we'll say let our EQ request equal an as fetch record. Minus fetch request. Okay. Now, this was the entity that we are querying is, or the table is that request that entity is the one that I just created, which is entity descriptions equal ed. Okay. This is it, the ed. Now you do the where clause. So this is your query. This is the table, and now you do the where clause or the condition. So you say let condition equal an as predicate, okay? And then you need to give it, you format a query. Now this formatting the query is very similar to objective C when you use to format strings. So I'm gonna use format, string basically and then I'll give it the string that I want to format so you give it the name of the field that you want to query on which is in this case if you look in here I have something called store name so that's what I'm gonna query on store name so I'll go back I'll say store name equal what equal and percent at this is a formatted string. So I'm gonna format it, I'm gonna put the value from the string field, the text field that I enter. So which is txt, txt name dot text. All right, that's it. That's it right here. Oh, we need to unwrap the text probably, yeah. All right, now you say the request.predicate, this is your where condition, predicate, equal to the one that you just created, which is condition. All right, now you execute your results. Now again, because there's potential of not having any record, which is you failed, you need to do the same thing. You need to do a do try inside catch just like we did earlier okay yeah you can do the same thing here okay so i'm just gonna maybe copy this do that here okay catch an error and instead of failed your record is not found instead of not saved no record found Curve found is found this is one. This is in case of an error, okay? Maybe there is another way to know that there is no record found, and I'll show you in a minute, but this is in case you have an error, all right? You can type the error if you want instead of this message, and I'll show you how to do that. You can just do error. You say error, the localized description. Or you can do localized description, whatever, okay? 
So I'll give you the description why it didn't fail. Now, if it is successful, still, that means you access the core data with no problem, but still your query might yield no result. So how do we do this? First, you say, let result, we need to execute the query, let result equal manage object contest, context, which is up execute fetch request. And notice it has a throw on it. So we say fetch request, which is what? What is the request? The one that we just created, which is RQ. Okay, and so this is will give you either success or fail. Let me once we have an error here. All right, we haven't used it. We'll use it in a minute. Okay, uh, let's see what the error is. So the managed object contents will either succeed or fail. If it fails, it goes in here. Sorry, the, this request will either succeed or fail. If it succeeds, it goes to the next line. If it fails, it goes in here and you get that error. I'll find out what this error in a minute. So now we need to check if result. Oh, we need to, to try. That's why. Because notice in this one it says manage object contents. Notice it had throw and it throws. So need, we just need to say we're trying this. Okay, this is this is the new change. So try, execute this. If it fails, go here. If it succeeds, continue. Okay, now the result can be an empty. It can be empty or uh, not. To know if it's empty, so you do a result. If result dot result dot count. If it is greater than zero, what happens? That means you found a record. Else, if it's zero or less, usually two or zero, that means you did not find the record. And if you did not find a record, and you just say here, failed, no record found. Okay, that, that message I was talking to you about, no record found. Um, is found. Okay. Else, we retrieve because this will give you an array of objects. Okay, you can have like, um, if you have like several, um, several store with the same name, you'll get them. So we want to get the first one. And how do you get that? You say let store equal result with the first object zero as what as manage object context or you can just say um, store right we have stores right stores I haven't tried that let's try that see if it works let's see if that have, okay as stores okay and then in here what you need to do is say txt name dot text equal store dot store description txt description <laughs> I'll fix that equal store dot store description and this should say store name and uh, txt latitude dot text equal store dot latitude okay txt longitude dot text equal store dot longitude the last part is your image, so you say image store image that image. This is image view that image equal UI image. Here we give it data 
instead of UI image instead of uh, string name we give it data where does the data come from it comes from the store dot image like that all right mm, do we have an error here as insert to unwrap it okay okay that's it so if it is successful we will get the data displayed on the screen if it fails or if there's no record we'll get that message if it fails we will get an error and with the description why it failed now if we run it hopefully things will work if we're lucky usually it works from the first time uh, we're waiting now okay if you do now if I type in anything in here and I did search no record found so that part works okay so I'm gonna leave this DDD and I'm gonna put e -E -E, and I'm gonna put here 55 and I'm gonna put here 66 I don't know if these are valid <laughs> latitude and I'm gonna click on save okay record is saved so now if I type in DDD I think it was four times and I do search here it is it worked we're lucky or we're good one of the two all right so what i'm going to do in the next video i'll show you how we display the result in a uh, table view controller and maybe before we do that we will do a video on uh, how to save the location instead of this we get it from a map okay all right I'll see you in the next video.